Good morning everyone, um, bright eyed, bushy tailed, I am awake, <laughs> um, no I'm at George's house and I'm all packed, I stayed here last night, George and I are going to the airport, we have a lift in 20 minutes I think, um, but basically short story to kind of explain it, Georgia is going from a different terminal. She's going with Flourish and I'm actually going with Boohoo to Coachella. Um, so, but luckily our flights are pretty similar times so we're just gonna share a taxi to the airport and then, yeah, go our separate ways. But obviously we'll see each other in Coachella. Well, I know, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be so mad. Um, obviously Georgia and I met at Coachella last year. So yeah, what we're we gonna... Oh, it's our anniversary. <laughs> um, but we're going to put Find My Friends on because the reception at the festival is dire. Um, I remember trying to get hold of Jilly and Emily last year and it was quite difficult. Um, so yeah, say hi to the vlog. Hi. Sleepy, sleepy girl. No, we're actually not too bad. I'm wearing my... Um, <laughs> Uniform. My junior school uniform, basically the junior school that I went to. Is it primary school? No, junior school. It was this colour and I tried this on last night and I was like, I can't wear that with black leggings, it looks like my old school uniform. So anyway, it's George's and it's from, what is it from? Pangaya. Pangaya, I can't say because I thought it was Pangaya, but We've been Pangaya. yeah. All right, Mimosa and look who I am. <laughs> Got Asher into the lounge. Um, God, I look very. It's not too close to your face, which is yeah. so much better. Yeah. Um, but this is basically, what a 5 a.m. start looks like. Yeah, we look tired. We well, do. I look tired. No, speak I for do myself. Look tired. Um, but we are basically flying separately as well. I've already explained because I was with Georgia. I've said bye to Georgia. I dropped her off at Terminal Three. And then I've met Asha here. At Terminal 5. At Terminal 5. And I am, um, what, what am I gonna say? Oh, Asha is going with Look Fantastic. I'm going with Boohoo. So we're all going separately. So you're gonna have three different vlogs to watch. Three point of views. Yeah, and another thing, I actually managed to upgrade. So the best trick I can say is, cause I'm flying by myself, I booked economy seats. The best trick is to upgrade at the airport. Um, it didn't cost as much as I knew how much a business class ticket cost. Yeah, so you actually save yourself money, right? Really. You save, yeah, because they just want to sell the seats. So, yeah, I upgraded. No, and they don't want them empty, do they? No, they'd rather pay for the upgrade and then get yeah. to sell the economy seat. Um, so yeah, I was really worried. <laughs> I was really worried. I was like, I really want to upgrade. I like, probably would have upgraded if I wasn't flying with a lot. Yeah, obviously I'm flying by myself, so I was just like, and I'm a nervous passenger. Not that that's any excuse. You are a nervous passenger. I am. Um, but I might try and upgrade to premium economy on the way home. I don't know. I'm going to see. So I've already made a mess. <laughs> this is my bag of wires and a Esper sleep mask. If you know about Esper sleep mask, these are 100% silk by the way. Um, my liquid bag, uh, my laptop because I'm going to do some editing and I've just got a champagne. Stunning. So, a lovely lady. I was I basically sat in 13F which is there. And obviously it's an aisle seat, but when I upgraded, they said to me, basically, there is no window seats, like, blah, 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 do you want to sit in an aisle? And I was like, that's fine. And anyway, this lovely lady came up to me and was like, excuse me, my husband sat next to you, do you mind swapping? And I was like, oh, yes, because I love the window. Um, so yeah, I managed to get a window seat. I feel like the world is like aligning. <laughs> Manifested this. Um, yeah, I'm just having my little champagne and I'm being very, very grateful.
a lovely, lovely lady. Anyway. got one night in LA. Um, I'm actually in Hollywood at the moment. This hotel is called The Tommy. Um, it's actually right next door to The Dream when Asher and I came and stayed. It's literally next door. Um, the weather is actually really bad at the moment. Not really much of a view out there. Um, but yeah, it's really bad weather, which is weird. But this room is so nice. This only opened last year. Um, so it's very new, very fresh, very cute. I am so tired, like it's actually scary how tired I am, like my eyes are just like shutting but I can't fall asleep too early because then I'm going to ruin my sleeping pattern, but I'm going to order a Uber Eats I think, yeah I'm going to order an Uber Eats and then have a shower and probably just go to bed because I'm so tired. Oh my God, the jet lag with LA is just like next level. Um, I'm gonna be up super, super early tomorrow, I can tell, but to be honest, I wanna shoot some really cute like festival looks. Obviously I'm here with Boohoo, so I've got loads of good Boohoo stuff in my case. And I've got some sick stuff from Boohoo, like I'm not even over it, like really, really good festival stuff. I literally look like I'm in my PE kit, but you know what, you're either a tea girly or you're just not. This is my bag of tea bags. I take this everywhere with me. If you've watched my vlogs before, I have this in every vlog or every trip I go away on. But I always used to do this with Asha as well. Asha loves tea. And when we were last in um, the dream, we used to go downstairs and like get our little waters. But I'd always run out, like as in I'd finish the tea and I'd be like, I don't wanna go back down again. So, even though I'm by myself, I've got two hot waters, which is fine, because the lady was just like, obviously it looks like I'm with someone else, when I'm definitely not, I'm just greedy and want two teas. And then cold milk, and then obviously I bring my own. But how cute, this hotel, before 11, your tea is complimentary, even though obviously this is only a cup of water, but if you actually want a tea, it's complimentary to 11, how cute. Um, I'm actually sad that I'm checking out today. It's a really, really cute hotel. Like, I've obviously got quite a small room. I'm only here for a night. Um, but it's really sweet. If you're wanting to come to LA, I definitely, definitely reckon, recommend this. I don't know how much it costs, so I'll have a look. Um, but it's really sweet, and also, yes, I am wearing that jumper. It's cold in LA. It's actually cold. Um, and I've been very productive. I have edited the Miami vlog. So, let's just turn that off a second, sorry. I've edited the Miami vlog, that's being uploaded. Um, I've done a couple of TikToks, I'm about to film some really cute Boohoo outfits. I'm so excited to show you them, um, because honestly, I found some absolute belters on Boohoo, like their festival range. Like, right, so I'll explain in a second when I've got one on but there's a skirt that I just needed to show you and I searched high and low, sorry, I don't know why I'm like holding the camera out into a car park, um, but I searched high and low for a like long white maxi skirt, went on Urban Outfitters, went on Revolve, I bought loads, the best one I found was Boohoo and it was literally so much cheaper than all the others, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna show you it, I'm gonna wear it to the festival um, on day one I think. Hello guys, so quick update, you might be thinking, what are you wearing? Um, I've been awake since 4.30, 4.30 was when I got up, so I've well and truly up basically <laughs> without um, sounding too crude, crass, whatever, whatever the word is. Um, yeah, the jet lag has got me, um, but it's okay I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get over it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm gonna have to just stay awake for as long as possible this evening. Um, but anyway, I am just coming to show you this outfit. Basically, I'm not a red girl. Hate red, usually hate red. But I saw this photo of M. Rata, Emily Ratatowski, whatever her name is, I can't pronounce it. And she was wearing this Prada denim set and she was wearing it with this, um, with a red hat and she looked really cool. Anyway, when I was browsing Boohoo, Boohoo have this exact set. Well, obviously it's not Prada, but let me, I'm sorry. 
this set, I can't even remember, it's like under £35 for both things. And I was just like, that is, it's like really, really similar to the Prada one, obviously not Prada, but the Prada one is like this shape. Um, and then the wide leg and then just with a pair of trainers. She actually had her hair up, like in a low bun like this. And then she had the gold hoops in. I'm gonna try and insert a picture. I haven't quite learned how to do that yet. <laughs> um, oh, my arm is aching. <laughs> Vlogging life. Um, so yeah, I just did a, I just filmed a little TikTok. The only thing is the lighting in here is just not the best. Um, but I just wanted to do like a recreating em, Emrata's outfit for TikTok. It will be posted by the time that this vlog goes live. Uh, my TikTok is below, by the way. All my socials are below. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to try on some gorgeous boho outfits from Boohoo that I found. Honestly, the festival stuff that they've got this year is like insane. I'm, I'm shocked. Like I actually sent the girl a message saying Boohoo has not been this good in forever. Like... I'm really impressed, so, yeah. Okay, hey, quick little pit stop. Oh, the real camera, honey, say hi. What brings you here? <laughs> well, there was a slag called Lauren, um, who was dressed like a so mom. Rude. Oh, yeah, so basically I'm dressed like a mom, <laughs> not just a regular, <gasps> oh, I wish I got that. It wasn't me, was it? It was. What's my jumper? It's my jumper. It's not in there. Wow, so, Sorry, can we just talk about the size of that jalapeno? And also the size of that face. <laughs> Jumbo everything in America. Cheers. 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 Oh. <laughs> See, look, I'm in Trader Joe's. They've got the cookies. They've got the normal ones, but they've got the double ones. And look at these cinnamon school book cookies. Are you mad? Wow. Are you actually joking? Cacio e Pepe puffs. No. Do I need to buy them? I think I do. Good morning, everyone. I have woken up in Palm Springs. I've left Sam in bed because she's been here a week and has fully adjusted to the time. I've been up since 5.30. Um, and once I'm up, I'm up. And she likes to sleep with the curtain shut. Oh my God, and I like to sleep with bright light. Like, I need the natural sunlight, but don't you just love it in Palm Springs and you can see all the mountains up there. I'm gonna actually go for a little mooch in a second. Um, but I also wanted to show you this. Obviously, the tea girl and start the tea station. I'm just gonna make myself a little tea, it just says hot water there, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little tea, I'm gonna have a mooch. Um, the sun has literally just come up, so I'll take you with me outside. So I've just caught sunrise, but you know you're in Palm Springs and you have these stunning trees everywhere and the mountains behind you. Um, got my little tea, I don't really know where I'm going, I'm just going for a wander whilst Sam sleeps. Um, oh, I just love it so much here. It's the best. I'm trying to just figure out like a little road to shoot on maybe. Um, yeah, because obviously I want to shoot all my nice content um, and I need a good background. And I loved last year when I did like the mountains and oh, we had a really good little street next to our house. Um, so yeah, I'm scoping out shoot locations as we speak. Right, morning mimosa by the pool. I can't pan this way because basically Sam's got her tits out. <laughs> but this is the pool. No, been. Yeah, you have. No, Say hi. hi. You need guys. to introduce yourself. Hi guys, I'm Sam. I'm my <laughs> best friend and my brand director of Boohoo. What yeah. brings you here today? Um, I brought my friend here, Lauren, who <laughs> shoots some amazing content, do some great stuff, get ready with knees. She made oh. some amazing Boohoo products. Wee I've got I'm some so really good stuff. Here. We've just ordered some breakfast. Look at this menu, by the way. So basically, I said to Sam, I was like, oh, I want to go to IHOP for breakfast. She was like, no, babe, let's, let's have it by the pool. Avocado toast, that's what I'll have tomorrow. I think I'm going to go for this breakfast burrito. I'm sorry. Scrambled eggs, cheddar cheese, fries, avocado, pico de gallo, and then I'm probably gonna have bacon in it. You really need to fill up um, before you go to Coachella. So I got the breakfast burrito with bacon, but hash browns in America are just so much better. Sorry, look at the size of her plate. Wow. 
Okay, this is actually part of our hotel. Turns out there's, this is not a swimming pool, but there is three swimming pools in this hotel. Um, how beautiful, and look, we've got this like bungalow thing. So on brand, baby. Another mimosa. Mm. Basically, I just filmed this, but the music was so loud and I'm worried that I'll get copyrighted, so I'm so out of breath. Um, but yeah, this is my little boohoo outfit. I'm not over it, I'm actually, actually not over it. Um, this is a lack of color hat. I can't even remember what hoops they are. But this corsage is boohoo. Also, look at my, oh, look at my little jewels. This top, um, I think I've actually got it on wrong, but it like wraps around, which I think is so nice, like the detailing around the waist, really, really cinches you in. And then I got this belt from eBay, but I don't know if you can see that, but it literally turned up and broke um, as soon as I opened the package. So that is a hairband right there. I think that's quite good going, to be honest. But this skirt is boohoo, and I got it in white, Right, I'm not gonna lie, I literally searched high and low for this trip for like a white long skirt. Like I feel like I'm really bringing back, I used to wear this outfit like in school, um, but I'm really bringing back that kind of vibe. But anyway, I searched high and low for a white skirt and I bought like three from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if I've already said this on the vlog, but I've bought like loads and just none were good enough. And then these Boohoo ones, I found them. They are, I don't know how much they are off the top of my head, but they're affordable. No, I'm not I'm literally not over them. I'm speechless. Right. Just try it. Test, test. This is my second OOTD. What do we think? My little boho princess. Um, that's why I put those on because it matches this outfit. Um, this hat is lack of colour. Again, don't know these earrings. Um, I haven't got any necklaces and stuff on. I don't know whether I should do that. Um, this lace, the star of the show, is Bohemian Bond. Um, a lovely lady in Ibiza makes, hand makes them. Um, it's a slow fashion brand. And then these babies. My El Vaqueros, which I get from Outdazzle. Springs day two. Um, firstly, I just want to apologize <laughs> for the lack of content yesterday. Wow, I look like I'm on like an interview, a TV show. Um, for the lack of content. Basically, I'll be honest, I had a very stressful day. I think I inserted some clips, but they were just like on my phone. They weren't like talky ones. And then just getting home and just, yeah, anyway, today's a new day. And I'm not being ungrateful. This is not be me being ungrateful. It was just very chaotic and today is a new day and it's not going to be chaotic but i just want to talk you through my outfit okay so this little number is a little dress from vanessa mooney i have been obsessed with her dresses for so long and i've wanted one for so long and then i saw that they sell it on free people so i'm going to try and link it below um and yeah they sell it on free people and obviously the delivery these this is an american brand she's an american dress designer um, and she does like loads of cute ones with like prints on and floral ones and they're really cute And then she has these things where like you can put a corset on it to make it super tight um, But anyway, um, what was my point? Oh, I've wanted one for so long 
Um, and then before I even knew I was going to Coachella, I was like, that would be perfect for Coachella. So I had it in my head and then anyway, I bought it. I mean, it's quite spenny, but this is one of those dresses that I will have for life and I will wear it every summer. It's easy to go with like boots, heels, like it's just one of those dresses that I love a white dress in the summer with a tan, um, with my brown lack of color hat. This, this is from Shein. I've never ordered from Shein before, um, but I really, really needed one of these gilets things, waistcoat things, and I could not find anything that I liked. And this was the only one I liked. I think it was like 15 pounds. Um, so anyway, very happy with that. Then, star of the show, my Elva Kiros. Let me actually show you these properly. My Elva Kiro boots. Can you see that? Oh my God, they're just stunning. Let me see if I can actually. Can you see them? <laughs> anyway, I am going somewhere very exciting. Um, Sam is asleep. It's very early, um, but I am going to the Flourish Villa, um, which is only 20 minutes from here. Sorry, I'm out of breath, like, what is wrong with me? I'm going to the Flourish Villa. Um, that's a potential outfit, by the way. Um, and I'm going to see my little George. Oh, I'm so excited. And obviously I get to see my managers, which is very exciting. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the festival with them today. I'm actually really happy with today's outfit. This is like me in an outfit. This, this whole vibe makes me so happy. Getting rid of all the negative energy. Say hi. I thought it went out there. <laughs> I, I hate fun. the smell of this. Am I going to smell? No. <laughs> no. Guys, this is for the vlog because I'm not allowed my camera. <laughs> No, because you're not on my you're not on my vlog yet. Oh, I'm in my I'm in my. Nella's been boring and not coming to the festival. <laughs> boring. I know. Oh no, I feel sick already. Yeah, I've Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. So much going on. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I need I need a washer. A chaser. A, a washer. <laughs> I need a washing machine. Yeah, Washington. Yeah, yeah, Hold on, so am I doing the first half? Yeah. Okay. Oh I'm scared. Do a big gulp. I've got a half. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Mm. 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 Tastes like ashtrays. <laughs> you know when I someone puts it. their bag out and you're drinking and you accidentally drink it? That's no. what it tastes like, no? <laughs> oh, shiver right down this spine. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not mm. <laughs> Cheers. 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 I 
so am I. Forget Lelo, Lelo, Lelo. 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 Lelo, Lelo, Forget the lulu 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 I need to be at the same time I need to be at the same time Oh my god! Don't you feel like the days have leveled up since I've had it? It's got more stress for us People speak to you everywhere Yes! Shake that ting with Shake that ting with I'm so stressed This is chaos Let's get it out till the early man I'm such a mum when I dance like that. What about the other queen? Hey! Your four-year-old mum would dance like that. Woo! I've got deja vu. We've done this before. Oh, we have. Yeah, that's what we need to find. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so terrible. darlings from a very hungover girl I'm needing these sunglasses right now because I am tired I don't even know where I left you last night but I think I inserted a clip of um, the little like after party thing that we went to in a private jet terminal I'm wearing a full boohoo fit you need to talk me through your OOTD hello my darling talk me through your look
guys, I am home after a very long journey. Um, I'm finally home, thank God. And the sun is shining. I've brought it back from Palm Springs. Um, so yeah, I basically got a flight. I thought I was on Asha's flight, which was really funny in the airport because I tried to go through. And Asha was like shouting to the other girls, like, girls, you're not on this flight. And I was like, Asha, no, it's actually me that's not on this flight. Anyway, um, so yeah, I flew home and then I flew to London and then I literally went straight to Georgia's. I had her keys and I had a nap and then I got a train home. So it was a very lengthy journey home, but I made it. Um, I'm severely jet lagged. I don't know if you can see, but I have bad bags under my eyes. So the first night I went to bed at like 1am and I woke up at 1pm the next day. So a solid 12 hours sleep. But to be honest, when I was in Coachella, I, I think because of the jet lag, I didn't have more than five hours sleep like since I got there, which obviously caught up with me, but I felt okay at the time. Um, but yeah, it obviously caught up with me. I slept a solid 12 hours. I don't think I've slept 12 hours like since I was 15, 16, like a moody teenager that didn't want to come out of their bedroom. Um, so yeah, that was nice. Um, what else have I done since then? Oh, so jet lag has really hit me today. I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night, woke up at 7, so I've had five hours sleep, so I'm really tired. I was just blow drying my hair. Um, and you know when the hot air from the hair dryer like just makes you sleepy, I was just like, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Do not ruin your sleeping pattern, Lauren. So if I can get to sleep tonight at a reasonable time, maybe I've cracked it, but anyway, we'll see. Um, it was so so nice to wash my hair like if you've been to any sort of like deserty festivaly place or if you've been to Coachella then you will understand the sand and dust just gets in your hair and it's not it's not the best um and as well I'd beach waved it like not crimped I always say crimped I definitely didn't crimp it I beach mermaid waved it that's the one um, and I just feel like that does make your hair feel like crispy and dry. It's not nice. Um, and I had still had like two plaits in the airport. Fern from Look Fantastic was like, I'm really appreciating that little plait that you've still got going. And I was like, I know, I just really couldn't be bothered to get it out. Um, anyway, yeah, it was really nice to wash my hair. I popped my hair in a repair hair mask from Grow Gorgeous. And I'm not joking, my hair feels so soft, like silky um like oh, you're not gonna be able to tell because i've got it up but i'm gonna try and not put any heat on it for a little bit now i'm just gonna keep it in one of these little buns for the next few days i don't plan on going anywhere i although the weather is so nice um anyway i just want to say oh there was something that i wanted to say so obviously i just feel like every time i go and do a vlog I just get so caught up in having a good time that I forget to like get my camera out and I just want to say sorry if I if I don't vlog enough. I feel like this will come with time, like I'll probably start focusing on it a bit more but I think it's so hard to like juggle like your Instagram, your Instagram stories, your Instagram posts, videos for reels, then videos for TikToks and then you've got to do YouTube on top so getting your camera out and stuff like that. Obviously, this is not me being like, oh, I'm so hard done by. This is absolutely not. I'm not hard done by at all. But I think I really just want to enjoy myself and enjoy the moment. So I just want to apologise for like not always getting all the footage. I don't even know. Do I even need to explain myself? I'm just, I'm just trying to let you know what it's like from my side. Anyway, live. <gasps> Hello. Hello, darling. <laughs> I literally was just saying, live is on her way and I'm here. wait wait for it here she is that was such good timing oh she made there come and say hi to the bar hello oh, how weird is that i literally just said hey. lives on her way and then oh, she went she hello there. um the cat's asleep on the bed hello oh she's really hey. sniffing <laughs> oh look at her it smells nice in here i've just blow dried my hair oh, oh gorgeous it smells like new perfume Mm. You have so many different perfumes. I mean, I have a lot of perfumes. Um, but we are going to do... I don't know if I did show you on the vlog, but I bought from Trader Joe's... Trader Joe's... Um, I bought the cookies. Did you? They're crushed then. 
crushed crumbs. cookies. <laughs> crumbs. Oh, crumbs. Um, mm, there's some that are whole, but I need... Do you remember them? Did you try them? Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Well, two, you bought two. Um, so I've got them, but we're going to do a little taste test for you. Um, what else did I get? Cacio e pepe crisps. Oh, my God. Um, I got these, like, butter butter biscuit things, but they're actually, like, Danish, so I'm pretty sure we've had them before. <laughs> So, what else was I going to say? That's it, really. Uh, we're going to go and try these cookies. Oh, and the uh, mini mini Pop-Tarts. I managed to get a bag oh. of them. Do you remember them? No. Oh, I ate them all before you had a chance yeah, last time. You did. I think you <laughs> had them and then you Yeah, sorry. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> it's an interview. For me, okay, no, hold on. So, basically, I just need to explain. <laughs> I need to explain to you what happened. So Lauren ate all the snacks. Yeah, before the snack taste test. Basically, these Nutrigrain bites, if you go to America, please, please, please. They were good too, though. Right, so, but let me tell you what happened. So I ate them all, and then I started eating them all yesterday. <laughs> and what I thought was I thought, I'll leave one in the packet. One whole one, because they're somewhat crushed. One little baby, one little baby in the packet to taste test on the blog. And so <laughs> Nick comes in straight away, he eats it, and now we've got nothing to you taste You nodded test. your head, like oh, as right. if to say, eat it. Did I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> it was great though. <laughs> anyway, so if you go to America, get these Nutrigrain minis. Mm, okay, the second thing, I've had these before. When did I buy these? And I went to Miami or LA. I bought them in the airport anyway. These are basically same, same, same thing. Same thing. Teeny weeny pop tart bites. I've had them strawberry jam ones. Yes, well, beggars can't be choosers that wasn't in it. <laughs> really? um, okay, so I I know what these taste like, and so does Liv apparently. You've not brought enough savory snacks back. Do you know what I like? Those um, combos with they're like dog biscuits. They've got like filling inside. Okay, so they're like oh. teeny weeny little baby pop tarts. Dog biscuits. Like, they don't have enough food in them, but they're good. They are very good. They're addictive. Pastry. I bought a pack for Georgia. Mm. I think I need another one. <laughs> they are really good. I'm a hungry, hungry girl at the moment. What are these bad boys then? Okay, these are not very American because they're Belgian. <laughs> William. You love stuff like that. Like caramelly, you have to dip them in tea. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Am I allowed to open them? She dares do anything. <laughs> she can't step, step out of line. No. <laughs> oh shit, we should have done savoury first. Yeah, there's not enough savoury, like oh. I said. I, I'm a savoury gal. Oh, well, well, I didn't have enough room in my Are they buttery biscuit bags? Oh my god, they right. smell so buttery. You're gonna have lot toast. Uh, no, you have to dip them in. You have to dip them in. <laughs> I'd, I'd leave that to... That's it's a, like a waffle cone. It's like an ice cream But no, cone. but like buttery biscuit base. <laughs> no, you have to go make them more soggy than that. Oh my god, no, it's good. It's good, that. Good taco. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna lose that. That's dangerous I'm game. losing it. Mm. Yeah, they are ripping your Excuse pen. me. <laughs> I've got a sore throat, that's why I'm, everything's hurting when it's going down. Oh, yeah, they're really good. good. They're really good. Mm. Right, it says, mm. wow. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, okay, my over. I wish that was bad behavior. Right. Maybe give them a demonstration. Move. <laughs> Come on, I can't already start doing this. <laughs> wow. What is she up to? It gets moist quicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> the law of physics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I just do this in my cup. <laughs> yeah, it speeds up the process. I don't think it does. Mm. It does. If you've got any scientists on here, then please. <laughs> Please let me know if by doing that it does 100%. It speeds up the process <laughs> of soggying your biscuit faster. For three cookies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Oh, I asked Denise that one. <laughs> okay, go on. For three cookies, 140 calories. 140. Well, that's not bad. That's like 46.6. That's absolutely fine. Is it? Bad, okay, please. so hold on. I didn't actually show you these. Trader Joe. If you go to Trader Joe, if you've watched Asha's YouTube and my Instagram stories, Trader Joe's do these yeah. insane cookies. But the ones we bought were like teeny weeny ones, like that big. And they're more crispy. These are like melt in your mouth and they've got more chips in. They're called way more chocolate chips cookies. And way more crumb. Look at the bottom of that. Oh, but babe, I had to put... Oh. <laughs> but that is buttery biscuit base. Or crumb. You could make a cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, I, I do think cheesecake. that. I do like cheesecake. Why do you always think I don't like cheesecake? I don't know. I always. She tells me all the time. I say you don't like cheesecake the whole time, and I think no, Laura doesn't like cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I like no, have you ever had baked Basque cheesecake? Looks brilliant. Bread. <laughs> also known as burnt. The one that looks burnt. Yeah. Burnt wow. Basque cheesecake. Taste test, please. Well, so basically, there's not many whole ones here. Oh, it's fun, right? They are gold. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> they're crummy. Fuck me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, they're so good though. They're like... Mm. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm telling you, please, please go to Trade Joe's. So Why? I actually got more used to Yeah, like... You know what I mean? I bought two pots, but on the way home, it was the one near Dream Hotel. And that's obviously where Asher and I stayed. You so I knew home. my way... I ate them all on just that small journey. <laughs> uh, I knew the way back, but Emily, I just meet meeting, meeting. I'm just meeting up with Emily Miller. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and I was telling her about them, and her and Cam were like, "Oh, we really want some." Oh, you gave them that. So cute. I dropped them to the hotel, and I wrote them a little post-it post note saying, "To Emily and Cam." What oh, a good friend you are. Oh, mm. fire. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We should do taste. <gasps> No, we need to do Maca Chaka. <laughs> no. Excuse me. <laughs> no, we need to do letting the order in front of you in a drive thru order your food. Mm -hmm. how, how do you do that? Well, you go up. Sorry. You know they're doing chicken big mats again? Did you ever try one? No. No, I didn't. Did you like <laughs> <laughs> You if you I've like. never had a fillet of fish but I tried my first ever one and I'm converted. It's like a massive fish finger. Is it? Mm. Mm. Okay. We've done this the total wrong way around, but this you may have seen on my story if you follow me. Oh, okay. Trader Joe's also organic cacho organic. organic. That's where the that's where it's going all wrong because that's when you know it's not gonna be good. Because it's not full of additives. We like additives. Well, there's two types of people in this world. I only like organic, <laughs> thank you. Um, she says after buying <laughs> all this crap. <clears throat> yeah, listen. They're cacio e pepe puffs. Cheese and pepper, corn and rice. I'm trying oh. to... Cheers. Oh my... Wow. I'm not sure. I'm sure. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. I can't taste anything. So it's like air. <laughs> what do you think? I think they're great. They're not very strong. Cacio e pepe doesn't taste like anything apart from pepper. They're yeah. like giant knickknacks. Mm. Cacio e pepe. It tastes like actual cacio e pepe. Which tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing. Wow. This anyway. is interesting behavior. Thanks for getting this far in the vlog. Uh, thanks for watching guys and <laughs> what should we do next mm. the drive through thing yeah i'm actually just gonna do a normal weekly vlog next week one more um, poof for me one more poof for Liv. i'm gonna do a normal weekly vlog like an actual like what i do at home oh. <laughs> oh. just language it's such bad language um and just like my week at home basically <laughs> <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching guys